Take him up there, Buck. Ready? Well, what should you do? Light the pipe or handle the rain? Oh, little girls don't smoke. You know that, Daddy. Caved into the canyon just around the bend. Well, we can get around it, can't we? Not a chance. There's steep cliffs on each side. We'll have to turn back. The Corwin Transportation is not in the habit of turning back. What's wrong, boss? The road's blocked. We're going over the ridge. Up there with these wagons? Why, they're right footing for a pack mule. There's food and medicine in these wagons for the folks at Boulder Creek, and they're needing it. Now, we ain't going to let them down. But I tell you, it can't be done, Corwin. Well, no man can put a wagon up over that ridge. My daddy can. Good girl, girl. We've been through all kinds of trouble together. Now, we're not going to let a little thing like a landslide stop us, are we? I'll go with you, Daddy. I'll help you. Good well, boy, we're not going to let Jane show us up, are we? Well, I'll say we ain't. What do you want us to do, boss? That's the way I like to hear you talk. You'll follow me with your wagons. When we get to the cliff up there, we'll move on one at a time. You pick up all the ropes on the wagon train. And you, you'll have charge of the men at the wheels. All right, boss. Okay, you take Janie over on your horse, Henderson. I'll stay with you, Daddy. I'm going to help you. It'll only be till we get over the ridge. Then you can ride with me again. All right. Oh, I don't need any help. Ah! 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 What about that? What? Block that hind wheel. Block that hind wheel. Snap that front wheel. Jones, you and a couple of those men slide that rocky man. Block those rear wheels. Come on, all together. Up there, you go. No, all together. How's that? I told you my daddy could do it. You sure did. And my father has never lost that spirit, Mr. Bladen. That's how he was able to build the Corwin Transportation Company from a pack train to a business that's part of Boulder County. And as for selling out to your railroad, I don't think he'd even be interested. I'm sorry, Miss Corwin, but when our railroad is completed, your freight wagons and your stagecoaches will be standing idle. Your company will be out of business. And why are you so anxious to buy us out? Because we believe that's the easiest way to stop the attacks on our construction work. Are you accusing my father of being responsible for the attacks on your railroad? Well, who else in Boulder Creek would be interested in fighting us? Miss Jane. Bladen, you got your nerve coming here after what's happened. Why, what do you mean, Henderson? Well, what is it, Tom? The wagon train's been attacked, Miss Jane. There's been bloodshed. Where's Daddy? Why didn't he come with you? Where is he? Daddy! 
Better come inside, Jane. Who did it? Railroad men. Can you prove that? You bet we can. Here's a railroad badge one of them was wearing. You're the boss of the railroad and it was your men. Yes, he's behind it. You're responsible for the murder of Jim Corwin. Let's get him. Just a minute, boys. I've got something to say to Mr. Bladen. Your railroad tried to buy my father out. And when he wouldn't sell, he was murdered. But the Corwin Transportation Company is carrying on. You bet we will. We're with you, Miss Corwin. Let's show the railroad we mean business. Oh, not that way, boys. We'll fight fair. I'm giving you a chance, Mr. Bladen. That's more than you gave my father. Now get out. Well, I'm sorry, Miss Corwin, that you and your men take this attitude. But I can assure you that the railroad had nothing to do with it. Looks like his skull's fractured. He must have been hit with a monkey wrench. It looks like the work of the Rattler. The Rattler! The Rattler! He struck again. Looks like he means business. Hey, Bob! The Rattler! Surround the camp! We've got Simpson. He's still breathing. Let's get him to the hospital. All right. Did you see anybody? No. Well, whoever did it made a clean getaway. That's the fifth warning in three weeks. Corin's daughter's back of this. She certainly is getting even with the railroad. She's the rattler, all right. I've had enough of this. I don't mind risking my life on a job, but this is just plain suicide. Let's help Lacey. Okay. What's going on here? Mr. Braden, we came here to work on the railroad, not to get killed. What do you mean? The Rattler just got Simpson and a couple more of your men. The Rattler? Yeah, and we're quitting. Wait, you can't quit like this. This Rattler business is just a trick to frighten you and stop work on the railroads. Well, I, I admit there have been some accidents, but... If yes, but this is no... Every time one of these show up, somebody gets killed. We're through. You can't quit like this. There's a bonus in this for every man who sticks to his job. Yeah? Well, if you and Miss Corrin want to stop here and fight, that's okay. But count me up. And me too. Now, come on, fellas, let's pack. More trouble, eh? Yes, this thing's getting beyond me. Williams doesn't show up pretty soon, we'll be licked. The chief wired that Williams started down here a week ago. Well, I hope nothing's happened to him. He's the only man that can get to the bottom of this. Take a wire to the chief. The rattler is struck again. Situation desperate. More. Where's Williams? Need him badly. Just a minute, Bladen. Well, what do you want? You're not going to send that message. Ken Williams. Well, am I glad to see you. Where have you been? Working for you for weeks. Only you didn't know it. <laughs> then you probably know more about this situation than I do. Have you any idea who the Rattler really is? Not exactly. 
Here's a weapon struck down the steam shovel operator, though. Ought to have his fingerprints on it. His fingerprints? Yes. Then you think the Rattler is a man? You're on the wrong track, Williams. Where is a woman? She is head of the Corwin Transportation Company. You forget, Bladen, that the Rattlers also attacked them. Well, who else could it be? In town through the mountain, you'd have to buy the land around for a right of way, wouldn't you? Why, absolutely, but what's well, that got to do well, with it? Well, the man owns the land could be the Rattler. I think he's striking at both companies to get you to fight each other. Why, that couldn't be. Why, the company doctor owns the land, and he's the... Oh, come in, doctor. I want you to meet Ken Williams. Ken Williams, this is Dr. Edwards. Glad to know you, Williams. Glad to know you, doctor. Oh, by the way, I'd like to have a talk with a patient of yours, uh, Simpson. Oh, I'm sorry, but I just sent him to my hospital in Boulder Creek. He's got a bad skull fracture. I may have to operate. That's what I dropped in to tell you, Bladen. Glad I met you, Williams. Glad to met you, doctor. Well, Bladen, I guess I better be getting back to the county seat and have this wrench examined for fingerprints. Bill Ride Tarzan? Sure do. You should have seen the expression on his face when I left him down the crowd with the mules. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like it a bit. Well, I'm certainly glad you're down here to settle this thing. Well, Ken Williams? I got you, boss. We'll leave right away. Chief. Ken Williams in Holy Quick? Yeah, and he's got the boss's fingerprints on a monkey wrench. You gotta get it back. Grab a lot more of those men and bring them along. Come on, get up from there. Come on, get up. Go on up there. Go ahead, I said. Oh, 
Well, William, Dr. Edwards. He's just the man I want to see. But it's useless, I tell you. Simpson is out of his mind, and he couldn't recognize anybody. Maybe the shock of seeing this armor would bring him out of it. All right, you. Here's where you get off. Come on. Which way, Doc? I told you not to come in here. But you didn't say positively. Get out of here. Hello, Ken. Breezy. Hello, uh, Ken. <laughs> These harmless, Doc. Allow me to introduce to you Breezy Baker, the world's worst newspaper reporter. Glad to meet you socially, Doctor. When I heard you were on this case, Ken, I thought I'd come down here because I knew to make a darn good story. That's fine. Well, now that you have your picture of Simpson, let's see if we can get him to talk. Come on. Come on, you. Simpson. Simpson. Well, he's dead. Murdered. Shot through the heart. The reckless dark. Keep an eye on this fellow, Doc. Come on, Breezy. No use going out there. Why not? Because I think whoever threw that dart was in the room. You mean the doctor? I'm not sure yet. I brought the prisoner in here to lead me to the rattler. If the doctor's a rattler, they'll talk. Otherwise... Run in here. Where is he? Who are you, and what right have you got to come in here? Look here, Miss Carwin. A railroad worker's just been murdered because he knew too much. The man you're shielding is mixed up in it. You're going to tell me where he is. I'm not shielding anyone. Hey, Ken, take a look at this. There's a message tied to this dart. Oh, see. don't touch it. The rattler's fingerprints might be on it. I've already got him on a wrench. He'd be too smart to make the same mistake twice. The Rattler's ordering me out of town. Hmm. Where's the next stage for the North? Well, the stages North and leave together in a few minutes. Good. Give me a ticket to the county seat for my friend. Hey, what's the idea? I'm not going to the county seat. Oh, yes, you are. You're going to do me a favor and maybe get yourself a good story, too. Now you're talking. Well, the Rattler's fingerprints are on this. Why don't you take it over to the county seat and have it photographed at police headquarters? Understand? I'm halfway there. Good boy. Here you are. That right, Miss Carlin? That's right. Thank you. All right, come on, Breezy. Come on, let's go. Listen, I thought you were too smart to blab your business in front of everybody. You mean Miss Carlin? Sure. I wanted to hear about the ranch. Come on, slip it to me. Quick. 
Now, listen, what's the idea of becoming... Listen, I know. Oh, don't you see I'm setting a trap for the rattler? Come on, you're going to take a stage ride. This is the northbound stage, partner. This one here. We'll pull them right out. Thanks. Well, good luck, Breezy. Thanks, See you later. No! No! Right, no! Don't touch them guns. Get down off of there. Get out of that stage on this side. Come on. I'll turn your backs, all of you. Turn them. Perhaps, Miss Carlin, you'd like to explain why your southbound stage is going north in such a hurry. Just how is that any of your affair, Mr. Williams? Because I set a trap for the rattler and you walk right into it. Well, if you really want to catch the rattler, there he goes. One of your stagecoaches, too. That's just a trick of the rattlers to throw the blame on me. We'll soon find out who the rattler is, Miss Carlin. Tarzan! Come on, boy! Back up away from there, man. Back away from that coach. Go ahead.
you really want to catch the rattler, there he goes. One of your stagecoaches, too. That's just a trick of the rattlers to throw the blame on me. We'll soon find out who the rattler is, Miss Carvin. Tarzan! Come on, boy. Back up away from there, man. Back away from that coach. Go ahead. Who's the rattler? Come on, tell me. I don't know. None of us know who he is. Maybe after a few days in Boulder Creek Jail, you'll tell me. Now, come on, get out of here. Come on. Let's go. Hey, stop! We've lost him! That's what we've been trying to do, ain't it? Wait, my friend's back there! And what's he been shooting at us for? Well, I hope by this time, Mr. Williams, you're convinced that I'm not the rattler. We'll discuss that later, Miss Corbin. Cut that lead horse loose and saddle him up unless you want to walk back to town. Oh, boy. What's the idea? I told you to stop, didn't I? My friend's got the rattler back there. That's what you think. But you don't know Ken Williams. He's got the rattler all right. And I'd walk 10 miles to get a picture of that. Well, don't let me stop you. <laughs> Just a minute. You might wire the Times collect that their star reporter is on the way with a front page scoop that'll knock them dead. I'll just tell them where I saw you last. Maybe they'll want to send you some flowers. Get up. Huh? Let's get going. You lead the way now, don't try any tricks. Go ahead. Miss Carvin. Miss Carvin. You all right, Phil? Oh, well, I tried to warn you. I know. I'm sorry you got hurt on my account. Well, I'm, I'm glad if it'll convince you that I'm not the rattler. I hardly think the rattler's men would take a chance killing their boss. Well, that's not hurt very bad. It just grazed it. I'll have to get you to Dr. Edwards as quick as I can, though. I'll hold that right there.
What have you found? Oh, no. Well, place a sedan here. Oh, oh. Oh, whoa. Well. Now, let's get together here and... Come on, horses. We'll, we'll do something. Come on. Come on. Get on. Atta boy. Come on. One, two, three, four. Seems to be a horse missing. Here it is. Oh, turn around, turn around. Oh, now, now. Now, whoop, now. Now, back up. Back up. Get around over there. Oh, that's the wrong horse. Whoop, whoop, no. Don't you know what I mean? Back up here. Now, how did you get way over there? Wait a minute, I'll show you what I mean. Oh, now, wait a minute. Let's figure this thing out here. Oh. Whoop. We're getting nervous now. Come on, now, back up. Back up. Get on there. Whoop. Whoop. Hold her. Hold her. Hold her. Wait a minute, horse. Come on, I'll show you who's the boss. Come on, get the whip. Get the whip. Come on, now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We've got to stop Williams' pal before he gets to the sheriff for that ranch. If he ever gets the ratlet's fingerprints off it, It'll mean our next. Maybe we can pick up some fast horses and catch the stagecoach. Talk about horse sense, there ain't no such thing. No wonder. On the right pedal. Come on. Hip. Lift up. Come on. Raise a little bit higher, will you? Come on. Up, up. Up. Atta, baby. Whoop. Whoop now. Wait a minute. I did you a good job. Now listen, horses. We simply got to get together on this thing. There's you. Who said that? I did. Huh? So what? I'm sure glad you fellas come along. Uh, will you help me get these horses straightened out? Sure. Got a wrench? Oh, what wrench? You know the one we mean. The one with a rattler's fingerprints on it. Oh, oh, I haven't got a wrench. That was just a gag to trap the rattler. I got it. Here it is. So you didn't have it, eh? Dust that trap for the rattler. Oh, listen, don't take that wrench. That's the only clue we have to the rattler's identity. Gee, Ken Williams would be sore at me if you took that. We wouldn't have Williams. Good sword you for the world. Get him out of here so I can turn this team around. Come here. Come on! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! I want my camera! Wait, I want my camera!
The Rattler's Fang. Have you got the wrench? Here it is. This isn't the one I sent you for, fools. Send four of your picked men to the railroad construction camp to await my orders. Following! William, so you've caught the Rattler. No, Bladen. We've been mistaken about Miss Corwin. Fact is, one of the Rattler's men shot her. Dr. Edwards around? No, I've been phoning his office in town for an hour. We've got another man hurt. So you take me back to town, Miss Carmen, if Dr. Edwards is not there. Can we use the emergency hospital, Blaine? Oh, certainly. Let me help you. Fine. Here we are. Right there. Oh, wait a minute. One more pill. That's it. I'll try that. Oh, that's fine. I'm sorry, Miss Carwin. I owe you an apology. I hope we may become friends. I think that's quite possible, Mr. Bladen. But I warn you, I'll never sell the Corwin Transportation Company to your railroad. Yes, and I warn you that when our tunnel is completed through Iron Mountain, your freight wagons and your stagecoaches will be out of date. You'll have to quit. Seems to me as though the Rattler has succeeded very well in keeping both companies fighting. But why should anyone want us to fight each other? Keep the railroad from completing the tunnel. Well, here's the doctor. Well, what's happened to you, Miss Corwin? She was shot, doctor. Hmm. I'll excuse you, gentlemen, while I take care of her. All right, Doc. Rattler's men are after this wrench, Bladen. Better leave it in your safe. I think that's a good idea. Sorry, but I'll have to go to the supply room for some alcohol. I'll be back in just a few moments. All right, Doctor. There you are. Thanks, baby. Now, if the Rattler wants his fingerprints, you'll have to come here for him. The Rattler's dark. Keep an eye on that safe, Bladen. Get up from there. Come on, get up from there. Get up from there. Now you're going to take me to where the rattlers hold my pal Breezy. Hold it. Thanks, Ken. That'll look great on the front page. Breezy, how'd you get away from the rattler? The rattler? I never even met the gentleman. Then that note was just a trick to get me away from camp, huh? What are you talking about? The rattler's after that wrench. Take this man back to camp, Breezy.
Ryan. There goes Williams over the hill. Stay where you are, old man. Stay right there. There's his horse. He must be hiding inside. Miss Carlin, where is she? The rapper's men took her away. 
A rattler? Yes, they struck me down from behind and tied me up. What was that explosion? They're safe. It's blown to pieces. The rattler's fingerprints burned off the wrench. There you are. That's our only clue to the rattler. I don't think we need his fingerprints to trap the rattler. I got a pretty good idea who he is. You have? Who is he? Dr. Edwards. Dr. Edwards? Bladen, if the railroad company couldn't tunnel through Iron Mountain, they'd have to go around it, wouldn't they? Yeah. Suppose a rattler owned a strip of land you'd have to buy as a right-of-way. You mean that the rattler is trying to keep the railroad and the Corwin Transportation Company fighting each other so that we can't complete that tunnel through Iron Mountain? Exactly. But what makes you suspect Dr. Edwards? Well, that's something we're going to have to... He left his bag. Look at that. The rattler's darts. What is it, Tarzan? <laughs> Tarzan spotted something. What's the matter, old man? Huh? What's the trouble? Dr. Edwards. Wait a minute, Miss Corbin. I'll fix it. All right. When we heard you were laying there wounded, the Rattler's going to make another attack on the construction camp. We made up our mind to get you out of their way. That's fine. Come on. Well, what were you doing away from the hospital tent? Why did you leave Miss Corbin alone? Well, I... I had to go to the supply room for some alcohol. By the way, Doctor, you own a piece of land around Iron Mountain, don't you? Why, yes, I do. You ever try selling it to the railroad company? No. You ever see these before? Did you? Why, the Rattler's Dart. Yeah. Say, hey, what's this all about? You'll find out soon enough. I don't like your attitude, Bladen. Now, if you think tonight... Ten. Ten. Ten, come quick. What are you trying to do, break your neck? Huh? Where's that prisoner I left you to guard? Oh, he got away. But I saw the rattler. You did? Where? I was coming along with my prisoner past those big rocks where the trail forks off towards town. Yes? Uh, About three pounds already. Ten miles more and you'll be a perfect 36. <laughs> Now, lay lower. I'll knock your block off. <laughs> Get back there. Here's where I get a picture of the Rattler. Boy, oh boy, will this make a front page story for my paper? And when I come to, uh, they were out of sight, and my prisoner was gone. <laughs> I guess he must have joined up with them. Then they must have been the men who tied me up. Can it be possible that Miss Corbin is the rattler? Huh? Come on, Breezy. Where are you going, William? Try to pick up the trail. Go ahead, Breezy.
Here's where you get off, Breezy. Hey, you don't think Miss Corwin's a rapper, do you? I don't think so. But she may be in trouble. I want the doctor to think you were leaving camp. You better duck back and keep your eye on him. <laughs> you think all I had to do is watch people for you? If I don't get a story and some pictures into my paper pretty soon, I'm going to lose my job. If you want a picture, better go get one of Bladen's office. Oh, boy, a picture. I'll answer it. Just as he is ready to click his camera, I socked him. I'll bet he rolled a mile down that hill before he hit the bottom. <laughs> Okay, boss, I'll handle it right away. What's doing? Slanty. Chief. The rat had just phoned. Ken Williams is riding the south for airport town. He wants us to head him off. I'll send you some men that won't miss. They quickly get that on board the safe for the beef of all of us. Get the horses ready. Attention! Boring! He must have gotten away. You men search the camp. Someone yelling he had the rapper. The men are searching for him now. We found this man lying here. Why, it's Williams, friend, the reporter. He seems to be alive. The rapper. The rapper! Hey, 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 wait a minute. I'm not the rattler. Ah, uh, why'd you let him get away? 
You mean to say that you really saw the rifle? You bet your life I did. Was it the doctor? Well, I didn't see his face. Just as I grabbed his mask, he slugged me. Come on, Matthews, we'll get him. Wait. Boy, oh boy, I got a picture of him. I got a picture of the rifle with his mask off. That's great. Now we find out who the rattler really is. I gotta get this film to go right away. Can I use one of your horses to get back to town? Sure, there's one down by the corral. He's already saddled. Thanks. Dr. Edwards. Dr. Edwards, where are you going? Well, I, I'm going to look after one of my patients. Well, don't get absent-minded and leave town. I've had enough of your insinuations, Bladen. Now I warn you, don't go too far. Circle around, get behind him. We'll lay for him here. Draw a side draw. He's hiding out somewhere.
Breezy. Come on, Tarzan. Here's where we get the rattler. Come on. Sounds like one of the boys has spotted him. Come on. Sounds like trouble. We'd better go back and see. Put your wounded shoulder, Miss Corwin. Oh, that can wait. Hurry. Breezy. Breezy. Look here, Breezy. Guess these newspaper men can't take it, Tarzan. Breezy. Breezy. Take some water, Mr. Williams. Miss Corwin. You had a narrow escape. I'm glad my men got here in time. Those your men? Yes, we heard the shooting and came back. Breezy. Breezy. Wait. It's Tom Henderson, my wagon boss. Tom, is anything wrong? I began to worry when the boys didn't bring you back. Thought maybe the rattler had gone. Breezy. Breezy. <coughs> Why? What's happened here? Plenty, brother. The rattler has been chasing little Breezy all over the landscape. What for? To get my camera. But I got a picture of him with his mask off. You did? Who is he? I don't know. I, I, he knocked me cold before I had a chance to see his face. But if he got the camera... <laughs> don't worry. I took the film out of it. Well, that's pretty smart work. Now maybe we can stop the rattler's attacks from the railroad. Let's get back to town and get that developed right away, Breezy. You bet. I got a complete developing outfit in the room in the hotel. Well, if you're going to town, perhaps you'll take Miss Corwin to the doctor. I better join up with the boys. They may need some help. We'll take care of Miss Corwin, all right. Hey, Tarzan. Come here, boy. Bring your pal with you. You certainly have him trained, haven't you? Tarzan can do about everything but cook and climb a tree, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you ought to hear him play the piano. <laughs> so, you got rid of the Corwin men. Yeah, they won't bother us anymore. Good. But that's not all. Breezy Baker snapped a picture of me. If it's ever developed, we stand to lose everything. He's on his way to town with Ken Williams and the Corwin girl. We'll get it. Wait a minute. 
I just saw the rattler. Ricky, you stay here with Miss Corwin. He was right, Carson. Give me that picture of the rattler. I know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. We know you've got it. Oh, it slipped. So did that. It fell right in here. Hey, come back here. Oh, it's no use. We can't do anything. I'll make a dash for the brush. Maybe I can find Kent. Oh, no, no. They'd kill you. I've got it. We ought to get an extra share of gold when I give this to the Rattler. I'll take it now. The Rattler! We caught these two, but Williams wasn't with him. Find him. Bring him to me at the hideout. So, you thought you could trick the Rattler. Go ahead and shoot us. But Ken Williams will get you if it's the last thing he ever does. Ken Williams? <laughs> Before I'm through with him, he'll wish he'd never heard of the Rattler. Now, Mr. Rattler. We'll find out who you are. Take that mask off. Mr. Williams. Oh, I knew it was him all the time. Sure you did. Well, here, Breezy. Take this picture back to town and get it developed right away. I'm going to get Tars and follow the Rattler's men to their headquarters. Thanks. I thought you were at the construction camp. So I was, but I received an emergency call. Well, Miss Corwin, I'd like to take another look at your shoulder. Will you wait in my office? I'll be back shortly. Surely, Doctor. He can't fool me. He didn't leave the construction camp to take care of any patients. What do you mean, Breezy? When this film is developed, we'll find that Dr. Edwards is the rattler. Why, impossible. Why should he want to harm the railroad that employs him? Ken Williams discovered that Dr. Edwards owns a strip of land near Iron Mountain. If the Rattler can keep the railroad company from building that tunnel, they'll have to buy that land for a right-of-way. I can't believe that Dr. Edwards would... We'll soon find out. I'm going to get this film developed. In the meantime, you go to the hospital and act as if nothing had happened. All right.
Picture developed yet, Breezy? Oh, gee, Ken. You had me scared for a minute. I thought you were the rattler. <laughs> Let's see what the picture looks like. Ought to be coming up now. The rattler! Like the boys are having a little target practice. Oh, well, you're getting better. catch Williams. We combed the hills for him, but he disappeared. Then get over to the railroad construction camp and lay for him. He's bound to come back there. Get going, all of you. Sure can take it. Oh! Look who's coming! The rattler. Something's wrong, boys. I thought I told you to wait for me at the hideout. Didn't we just talk to you back at the hideout? That was Williams. He tricked you with my disguise. Trouble, Carson. Huh? What's the trouble? Here, come here, boy. Come on. Goes. 
Follow your horses. Follow him. I think we need a little target practice. Locked us in. Then you're not the rattler. Of course not. The rattler's dark. He's trailing the Rattler's men to their hideout. The hideout? Yeah. He found one of the Rattler's costume and he's using it for a disguise. What do we do? I know what I'm going to do, Dr. Edwards. I'm going to get some men and horses from Jane Corwin. Target practice. the door. Thanks, Jane. You got some in here just in time. Bad crazy.
let them have it. Dean, get back out of the there. Quick, I'll take him in. Just put it right around there. He'll be all right, old man. Miss Corwin. Hold your position, man, but keep on firing. What are you gonna do? Don't worry about me, keep undercover. I wonder what in the world Ken's up to. <laughs> no one ever knows what he's gonna do next. Jim! <laughs> I think you'd be safer up behind that tree over there. Come on. Oh boy, hold. Better leave our friend here, old man. He may come in handy a little later. Hold it. Oh. Easy. Oh. What a newspaper reporter I turned out to be. A great fight, and I haven't got my camp. They're gone. You men keep a sharp lookout out there. This may be a trap. Where can they be? I don't know. They must have escaped through some uh, secret passageway here. Let's look around. Wait here. 
Watch out on the other side of the canyon, boys. Go ahead, Tarzan, take it away. What are you trying to tell me, old boy, huh? Oh, old man, what is it? Huh? What is it? Well, that's pretty smart of you. Nobody would suspect the wagon boss of the Corwin Transportation Company as being the rattler, would they? I'm not the rattler, Williams. What are you wearing that disguise for, then? I found it on a dummy. I thought maybe if I put it on, I could get in with the rattler's men. You might be telling the truth, Henderson. I know a way I can find out. Now, come on, show me that dummy. Go ahead. You know, Miss Corwin, I covered a story one time that took me within 10 miles of the North Pole. I... Why, it's Ken. He's got the rattler. What did I tell you? I knew he'd bring the rattler back. Why, it's Tom Henderson. Here. They told me back in town you were on a hunt for the rattler, and I was worried about it. Guess that clears you then, Henderson. We just had a little misunderstanding. Yeah, William fell out with the rattler. See, what was all that shooting around here? Well, we just had the rattler and his gang trapped in the shack, but they disappeared. They must have gone to the cave. Cave? Sure. Come on, I'll show you something. Hey, boys, you better stick out here and keep your eyes open. Henderson's actions are mighty suspicious. We'll watch him. Watch that wall. It's a trap door. That's how the rattler and his men escaped. That passage leads to an opening in the hillside. How do you happen to know so much about this? Miss Corwin, your father built this place many years ago as a relay station. We used the cave for a secret storehouse. Well, why all this trap door business? We had rattlers in those days, too, Miss Corwin, but we called them bandits. Your father was protecting himself from them. Very interesting story, Henderson. I think I'll have a look around here. The rattler may still be in there. I hardly think so. Wait a minute, Breezy. Better let me handle this alone. Rattler is hiding in there. He'll try to make his getaway through the other end. I'd better get the men and head him off. It's a good idea. Listen, uh, you two go on ahead. I want to go back and help Ken. Oh, Ken, wait for me. I thought I told you to keep an eye on Henderson. Oh, well, he's with the Corwin men. He can't find a funny business with them. All right, come on, keep close to me. Quick, get the rattler. What was that? Where's 
the rest. He's murdered. They didn't send a porter or snooping around the cave. Where's Henderson? Maybe he is the rattler, just like William said. We've got to get back. It may be a trap. There's somebody back there. Must be the rattler. Be ready with that gun, Ken. He thinks the rattler's down there. It'd be too bad if William shoots and hits that dynamite we've got stored near to speak him to. And it can't lame us if anybody starts shooting. Shh. It's no use, Williams. Stay where you are. You've interfered with my plans for the last time. Why don't take a shot at him? Can't see him. They're falling for the trick. What's the matter, Rattler? Are you afraid to show yourself? I guess the direction of his voice, I'll take a crack at him. Come on out, Rattler. Let's talk it over. Sure, I'll talk it over. Listen to this. Funny we didn't see the flash of his gun. Must have shot through his cape. Why don't you answer, Williams? Didn't you hear me? You missed, Rattler. You'll have to speak again. No use, Williams. You are. You've interfered with my plans for the last time. Why don't you take a shot at him? I can't see him. They're falling for the trick. What's the matter, Rattler? Are you afraid to show yourself? When I guess the direction of his voice, I'll take a crack at him. Come on out, Rattler. Let's talk it over. Sure, I'll talk it over. Listen to this. Funny we didn't see the flash of his gun. Must have shot through his cape. Watch close, you fellas. This may be a trap. Why don't you answer, Williams? Didn't you hear me? You missed, Rattler. You'll have to speak again. They're locked in the cave. Get out of here, quick! <coughs> <Go ahead. coughs> I'm sure I must shoot no, a big I'm gun. Not... 
What happened? Explosion in the cave. Maybe it killed the rapper. <laughs> I don't think he was even in there. Where's Henderson? What? He was leading us to the cave entrance when he disappeared. You men better spread out and search the brush. Breezy Baker, star reporter, blown out of cave while hot on the trail of the rattler. <laughs> and I haven't left my camera. <laughs> Where's the entrance to the cave, Jane? It's right this way. All right. Here he is. I heard a groan in the bushes and found Henderson lying there dazed. I was knocked out by the rattler. Henderson, I want the truth. Why'd you disappear after leading Miss Corrin and the others to the mouth of the cave? I didn't lead them. And I didn't disappear. I was struck in the head from behind. Take off your hat. Let me see it. <laughs> Not a thing. You must have been hit with a feather or a toy balloon. Yeah, it looks that way. Your alibi is not very convincing, Henderson. Tom, you've worked for my father ever since I was a little girl. And after he was murdered, I put you in charge of the Corwin Transportation Company because I trusted you. Because I thought I could depend on you. Maybe it looks like I double-crossed you, Miss Corwin. But I didn't. I'm not the one that's been attacking the railroad and trying to lay the blame on your company. Then you're not the Rattler. Ever since your father's death, I've hated the Rattler worse than you have. But if I betrayed him, my life wouldn't be saved. Look here, Henderson. If you know anything, you better speak up. Because right. if you don't, why should I hang for something I didn't do? I'll tell you who the Rattler is. He's... Tom! The Rattler's dark. Quick, men. Spread out. Search that brush. Hurry it up. Tom! Tom! It's no use. He's dead. Ken! Ken! The Rattler! The Rattler! Ken! Where'd the rattler go, Breezy? What happened? Huh? Why'd he go? Where's the rattler? Cavern. Get the horses ready. I've got a job for you. Ken Williams is headed toward the Little Rock Trail to meet Lake's wagon train. Pick me some of your best men. And come! Come! The rattler! 
He's after me. Remember, I want him alive. We'll come back and pick him up later. Well, that was easier than I thought. You're a pretty good actor, Davis. We better get over Little Rock Trail and meet the boss. Looks like Tarzan. Yes, sir. Here comes the rattler. He sure is a dead ringer for Williams. I'll guide the wagons back to the left fork. You men cut across and be ready. Tell the others. Ken Williams. Yeah, Lake said you'd meet us. Didn't he come with you? Lake's going to meet us in camp. You better swing over and take that left-hand fork into Gilroy Junction. We've always taken the river road before. It's shorter. I know, but that Corwin outfit's going to make us a lot of trouble. You're the boss, Williams. All right.
Come on, boy. Come on. Tarzan. Come on, boy. That's it. Hurry up. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up, boy. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on, Tarzan. We're gonna save that wagon train. Hurry it up a little, will you, old man? Tired, old man. Hurry it up. Pick it up. That's it. Once more. One more time. Pick it up. That's it. That's all I don't want. Ah. That's good work. Good work, old man. The rattler's gonna try to stop that wagon train, Tarzan. We've gotta hurry. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. I can't understand why the Rattler wants us to attack this wagon train. They're bringing in supplies to the railroad. And if this tunnel is ever completed, the board stands to lose millions. Uh, it's going to be plenty tough for Williams when those drivers testify that he led them in an ambush. Ready for the signal.
They quit so sudden. Some of the boys are in bad shape back there, Thomas. Go back there and help them. Better go over here and make sure we finished Williams. Get him out of here, boys. Can you hold that team? Get him out of here, boys. Get a hold. Can you kill him out? Hey, what's happened here? Ken Williams led us into a trap with the Rattlers men. What, the Rattlers men? Where is Williams? He's laying over there in the bushes. If you'll take my advice, Bladen, you'll quit trying to drive that tunnel through Iron Mountain. Blake, I'm out here to build that branch line, and I intend to finish it. Why, you haven't got a chance against the Rattler. He's scared half your men off the job, and you can't build a railroad without supplies. Then you've definitely decided that you won't haul any more supplies for us. Absolutely. And furthermore, if we connect your man Williams with this attack upon our wagons, I'm going to sue your railroad. Wait. If you can prove that Williams is guilty, I'll be the first to help you hang him. I'll prove it, all right. Looks like you're in a hole, boss. I am, Matthews, but I'm not licked. What are you going to do? There's only one thing I can do. Turn the hauling contract over to the Corwin Transportation Company. must be pretty desperate, Mr. Bladen, to offer me Lake's contract after what's happened between your railroad and the Corwin Transportation Company. I am, Miss Corwin. Our backs are against the wall. Then you've come to realize that the person attacking your railroad is the same person who has been making attacks against my company. Why, I'm absolutely convinced of it. The Rattler is our mutual enemy. I'll take that hauling contract. That's fine. I'll fill it up right away. And while you're doing that, I'll have the teams hooked up. Good. Okay, boss. I'll see you right away. The rat is just gone. The fallen wagon has started for railhead to hold supplies for Bladen. Now we've got to stop it. That will take a lot of men. But Colin! Colin! Four boxes of ammunition to every man. We're not looking for trouble, boys, but if the Rattler wants a fight, he'll get it. Now keep your eyes open and start shooting at the first sign of attack. Mr. Blaine! Mr. Blaine! They told me at the construction camp I'd find Mr. Bladen here. Well, he just left. What's the matter, Breezy? You seem all excited. The Rattler's posing as Ken Williams. Are you sure? I'll say I'm sure. 
I heard the shooting and saw the wagon train attack. I knew it'd make a swell story for my paper, so I started over there as fast as my horse could travel. I'm after the rattler. He's down there behind them rocks, watching the attack. I'll help you catch him. All right, go around that way. Be careful, don't let him see you. Ken. Guys of yours, boss. You're sure dead ringer for Williams. You're telling me? I just put it over on Ken Williams' own pal. That newspaper reporter. Get your head out of the way. Get your head out of the way. Oh. Get your head out of the way. It's the reporter. Don't let him get away. came to, the fight was over. So I heard to the construction camp to tell Mr. Bladen. Did you hear that, boy? The rattler will have to go some to trick us. We're ready for him. We'll make it plenty tough as long as our ammunition holds out. I knew Ken Williams couldn't be guilty. You've got to get to the sheriff with your story. You mean right all the way to the county seat? No, no. The sheriff's on his way to Lake Ranch to take charge of Ken. We'll meet him there. Jack, get the wagon started for railhead as soon as possible. Come on. Just like you ordered. Let me have your gun. I've lost mine. Ooh. It came from over there. Drop those guns. All right, men. Tie them up. Hey, partner, will you get me a drink? Thanks. Is that lake riding up? Look out! Keep it right where you are. Easy. Stick your hands through here. Come on, both of them. I'll take it easy and you won't get hurt. Easy. Decide to hold her a little longer. That'll hold you. Try to holler. Here, boy, here. Tarzan, here. Here, boy. Here. Here. Come here, boy. Come here. Here. That's fine. Good work, old man. Good work. I'll come up where I can get that rope. Go ahead. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Right there. Good boy. Go ahead. Now take it away, Carson. Hold it. Right there. 
Where have you put Williams? He's locked up in the storehouse. Take it away. Go ahead. What's more? Go ahead. <coughs> I'm your old man. Go ahead, try it again. That's it. <coughs> Go ahead. <coughs> be the rattler disguised as Ken. Come on. Pull up! Don't hit me, he needs Pull it. James! Breezy! You can't fool me this time, Mr. Rattler. I'm gonna pull his nose and see if he's got a mask on. Hey, just a minute, just a minute, Breezy. You want me to tell Miss Carlin about the time you went swimming in the goldfish pond with your clothes on? And... Oh, 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 now, wait a minute, Ken. It's him, all right. <laughs> <laughs> What's this about the rattler impersonating me? That's Lake, men. They're after me. I gotta get out of here. Come on. Head for my wagon. My men will help you. Ah! Look, boss, Williams. They're playing right into our hands. Quick, boys, stop those men. They're after Mr. Williams. Those aren't my men. The rattler. Hold it, Williams. Look, boss, William. They're playing right into our hands. Quick, boys, stop those men. They're after Mr. Williams. Go, 
Those aren't my men. The rifle. Hold it, Williams. I've warned you for the last time not to interfere with my plan. This is your finish. meaning of this. I sent you to get William. Thomas and a couple of boys have got him, Mr. Lake. But to go after the Rattler's men, they're getting away in Miss Corbin's wagons. You led my men into ambush once before, Williams. I'm not taking any chances. It's the Rattler disguised as Ken. And besides, Ken was with us just now when the Rattler ordered his men to kill us. He was with my men, too, Miss Corwin, when the Rattler attacked my wagon train. Can't you understand? It wasn't Ken. That's what he'll have to prove. Take him back to the ranch and hold him for the sheriff. Just a minute, Lake. The railroad company sent me out here to run down the Rattler. I have to make a report to the superintendent. I demand that you take me to see Mr. Bladen. Take him to the construction camp and let Bladen lock him up. I'll have the sheriff pick him up there. All right. Come on, William. Ken wants me to follow Lake. Oh, boy, if he turned out to be the Rattler, wouldn't that make a swell story for my paper? It certainly would. I'm going to ride back and find out what happened to my men. All right. Come Look after my horse. Right away, boss. Williams is being held for the sheriff at the railroad camp. Send two men there to pose as deputies and take him away. Suppose Bladen won't give him up. I'll take care of Bladen.
Well, Bladen, here's where I put you to work. You're taking a sweet time about it. Yeah. Well, I don't do that as I thought. Wake up, Morgan. I'll leave you alone, can't you? You better not let the rider catch you sleeping on the job. Come on, get busy. <coughs> Never mind that, Sack. Get that load out of here. I was just getting it straightened out. Sure, I had that ring for Bladen, boss. His own mother couldn't tell you apart. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll see it, Doc. I'd sure like to get a look at the face behind that mask. If you did find out who the rattler is, you'd never live to tell us. Lucky we woke you up before the rattler came out. The rattler came out? I'm glad he didn't catch me. Get that other load out of here. the door of the rector's room closed. Matt. Ken Williams. There's nobody here. Open that door.
Yes, it must have been one of the boys out in the tunnel. Come on. I said, come on. Come on out. Mr. Blaine, we've been waiting for you. Mr. Lake sent us over here with Williams, and you're to turn him over to the sheriff. I got some partners for to make to you, Blaine. All right, man. I'll be responsible for him. Go on, Mr. Blaine. All right, Ken. Sit down and tell me all about it. All right. Well, you sent me out to meet Lake's wagon thing. There's a rattler signal now. And don't forget, we're deputy sheriff. So you think Lake is a rattler, and that he's been using a lifelike mask to impersonate you? If I wasn't held on this foolish charge, I could prove it. Lake has an excellent reputation, Ken. I'd advise you not to make any charges until you have that proof. Won't be long. Breezy trailing now. Oh, Mr. Blazon. We're from the sheriff's office. We've come to get Williams. Well, you won't hold him long. No charge. Wait a minute, Bladen. If the company put up a bomb, maybe the sheriff will let me loose so I can trail the rattler. Good idea. How about it, boy? Just a minute. Hello, Blayton speaking. Oh, hello, Doctor. What's on your mind? A newspaper reporter got in here and found out all about your mask. Oh, is he still there? No, he got away. He's headed for the construction camp to tip off Williams. Oh, all right, Doctor. As long as you're going to spend the night in Boulder Creek, why, uh, well, I'll look after it for you. You know, boys, I've been thinking over this idea of Williams, and, well, as long as the railroad is willing to accept the responsibility, I think the sheriff will be satisfied to leave him in my custody. Well, uh, um... I'll give you a written guarantee. Give this to the sheriff. Now, oh, this lets us out, Mr. Bladen. I guess we can get our hands on you any time we want to. Sure you can, boy. You'll find him here. So long. Why, the railroad couldn't afford to have you cooped up in jail while the Rattler is still at large. But Dr. Edwards, I thought he's in Boulder Creek. Oh, Bladen here just helped. Take off that mess, Rattler. Take it off.
Here he comes now. Don't shoot. It's Morgan. Uh, I wonder what he's after. Hey, Morgan! Have you seen that reporter? That don't look like Morgan. What did you find out? Oh, plenty. Lake's the rattler, all right. I trailed him to his hideout, and he's got masks of everybody. Can you find a place again? You bet your life I can. Come on, let's go. Thanks, Doc. here for hours. Now I begin to understand. Understand what? The Rattler has been impersonating you in your office. Where is he now? He escaped. But Breezy found his hideout. And he and Williams are on the... Here comes that reporter back with Williams. Get them horses. We give him a taste of his own medicine.
The Rattler calling now. Williamson reporter. On the way to mine. Yes, Miss Corwin. I think you'll find him in his office. Isn't that Mr. Lake riding into camp? Yes, he's got his nerve coming here after what's happened. Hello, Lake. What's on your mind? When I left Ken Williams here in your charge, you were supposed to turn him over to the sheriff. Why did you let him go? Lake, I'm more confident than ever that it wasn't Williams that led your wagon train into ambush. It was the rapper disguised as William. Aye, that's ridiculous, Bladen, and you know it. Not as ridiculous as you think. This time I was the victim. The rapper came in here and impersonated me today, and the mask was so perfect, even Williams was fooled by oh, it. But I won't be fooled by it. And if I ever get my hands on Williams again, I'll see to it that he doesn't get away. Well, Miss Carwin. I hope you haven't come here to jump down my throat. But I have got bad news, Mr. Bladen. My men have searched every foot of the country, and it looks as if the Rattler has made a clean getaway with my freight wagon. Then that settles it. If you can't haul supplies for the railroad, I've got to quit. Send a wire to headquarters, Matthews. Tell Mr. Kenton, I can't go on. That reporter back with Williams. Get them horses. We'll give him a taste of his own medicine. Boy, this will make a swell picture for my paper. We haven't got time for that, Breezy. Help me tie these fellows up. Come on. I guess you're right. You're working for the router, and you're going to tell me who he is. Come on now, start talking. I don't... Nobody knows. You mean to tell me you're working for him and you never seen his face? No, he always wears a mask. Sometimes it's Bladen, and sometimes it's yours. The rest of the time, he wears his own. We're going to hide out and lay a trap for the rattler. Well, we'll never be able to get past the guard. 
I'll fix that, all right. Take his clothes off. What's the idea, Ken? You're going to put them on. Hurry up. Come on. Here comes Chase. And he's got Ken Williams prisoner. I thought Hunter was with them. Yeah. That's the secret entrance they just came out of. I got him. Get set, Breezy. What? He's getting away. Get him, boys. That draw, man. Well, it couldn't make it so much work for me. You're having a good time, ain't you, Breezy? <laughs> You've had so much fun all my life. <laughs> Now, 
Maybe you better take me to that rattler's room you was telling me about, Breezy. Maybe one of his hats will fit you. It's a good idea. Well, it certainly looks as if you were right, Miss Corwin. Matthews is up to something. Where do you suppose he's going? Well, if he's the rattler, he's probably going to his hideout. Where do you? He must have gone into the brush. You stay here and watch. I'll circle around on the other side. Something must have happened to him. Yeah, come on, let's go see. Come on, boy. Come on. Ken! Hey. Gene, are you hurt? Oh, I'm all right. The rattler struck down Mr. Bladen. The rattler? Yes. It's Matthews, Bladen's clerk. Matthews? Why, well, I thought Lake was the rattler. Where was it? This way. Oh, Again. Where are the others? I guess they're all tied up back there. Find them and hurry back to the hideout. Why, he's gone. Are you sure this is the place? I'm positive. The rattler must have taken him to his hideout. You you better go back to town, Jane. Me and Breezy are going to the rattler's hideout. Oh, no, Ken, don't go. They'll kill you. Let me get my men. Well, that's a good idea, Jane. We might need them. doing here.
This is where the rattler keeps his mask. Ain't that one a dead ringer for you? Sure is. I can hardly blame Blake for figuring I led the attack on that wagon train. Oh, no, you don't! Right. Well, yep. Leave that apart to us. Stop her! Well, you needn't worry about that anymore. These masks will prove that the rattler impersonated you. Right. I think I'll look around here, Breezy. See if I can get a line on the rattler. Wait a Why take a chance? Let's get some help. I got an idea, Breezy. I'll put the rattler's outfit on in case I meet some of this man. Give me a hand here. Yeah. Get into this thing. How's that look now, huh? Oh, swell. Gosh, you can give me the willies. That ought to do it. I just caught the Corwin girl snooping around. Get back where you belong. Did you get the girl, boss? Yes, Williams and the reporter got away. Get fresh horses and go after them. They mustn't escape. But he couldn't fool me. So, I've got you at last, Breezy Baker. You've been sending out stories to your paper about me. Well, you'll never send any more. He only wrote the truth. Don't you try to defend him or Wait, I'll... wait. Go ahead and shoot me if you want to. But you ain't going to hurt her, see? Bravo, Breezy. You're a real hero. Oh, I knew it was you all the time. You got rid of the Rattler's men? Yes, but they still one in the tunnel. Come on, Breezy. We'll get him to help us trap the Rattler. Game, will you go outside and warn us if any of his men come back? Wait, I'll take a couple of these masks for evidence in case we have to make a quick getaway. That's a good idea. Wait a minute. Put them in this sack, Jane. Here, put them right down in there. That's the thing. All right, done? Yeah. Take it easy now. Keep your eyes open now, Jane. Come on, Breezy. Quiet. Get a move on there, Harry. It's a gold mine. You mean to tell me that heavy stuff in those sacks I've been wheeling around was gold? Now I can understand the rattler's reason for not wanting the railroad company to finish that tunnel. It run right through here. Well, what difference does it make? Don't you understand? This is railroad property. Whoever the rattler is is getting gold out of here don't belong to him. If they ever discover this mine, he'll lose millions of dollars. You stick here, Breezy. I'm going in as a rattler to see what I can find out. How much ore did you get out yesterday? 
A little under 20 tons, but all high-grade stuff. Let me see your boat. Get out of here, run away with my wheelbarrow. No. Take him to the assay room and hold him there. I'll tell the boss. Hey, boss. We got the newspaper reporter in the assay room. How did he get in here? I don't know. Is Williams with him? No. Maybe we can make him tell us where Williams is. Tell you where Williams is? What are you talking about? Why, you just came in here and told you they were holding him prisoner. Told me? Sure, while you're looking over the books. You've been tricked. That was Williams wearing my disguise. I'll stop him. You! That man, Williams! Grab him! Yeah, 
We're trapped, Breezy. again for some time on account of the gas. Take the men to the shack hideout and wait for my orders. I've been looking for you ever since the rattler struck me down. Quick, we've got to help Ken and Breezy. The mine is filled with poison gas. I can't, you can't go in there. You'll suffocate. Well, I've got to take that chance. I can't let them die. But I won't let you go to your death. Well, I've got to help them. Let us out of here, will you? We feel all right. No, no, you've had a narrow escape. That poison is still in your system. You have to take it easy for a few days. All right, Doc. Tarzan! Holy boy, here. Here. You big pansy. Whose flower garden you been robbing, huh? Whose flower garden you been robbing? Oh, you put him up to that. Ken, you shouldn't be out of bed. I can't make him believe he's sick. Oh, I feel great, really. Yeah, we want to get up. You better do what the doctor tells you. Well, how do you do, Miss Cora? Good morning, Mr. Lake. I'll have to run along. I'm expecting the sheriff to come for the masks I got from the Rattler's hideout. You tell him when he picks up Mr. Lake, he'll have the Rattler. I think you're wrong, Tim. In my opinion, Mr. Matthews is the Rattler. Matthews? You mean Bladen's clerk at the construction camp? Yes. Just before the Rattler's men attacked you, I saw Matthew sneak into the bushes and telegraph a secret message. Does Bladen know about this? Yes. We were trailing Matthews when you met us at the Rattler's hideout. When the sheriff gets here, you tell him to come over. I want to see him. I'll send him right over. And thanks for the flower, Jane. Goodbye, Ken. Bye. Miss Corwin could borrow Lake's wagons. We could fill that hauling contract for the railroad. Not a chance. The way Lake acts, she'd think he didn't want the railroad tunnel finished.
Keep after him. I'll pick up that mask. Are you hurt? No, miss, but I'm afraid Lake got away. That wasn't Lake. That was the rapper wearing a mask. But I know where to find him. You do? Yes, at the construction camp. We'll know him by the wound in his left arm. Matthews, get his gun. Now, Mr. Rattler, we've got you dead to right. The Rattler? What are you talking about? Oh, don't look so innocent. I suppose you didn't take the masks of Mr. Bladen and Ken Williams out of my office. I did not. Oh, you can't tell us that. We chased you and I shot you in the arm. This is no bullet wound. I cut it on a piece of machinery. We'll soon find out if you're telling the truth. Look at his arm, Miss Corwin. <laughs> Hold her there, Matthews. Get his gun. Now, Mr. Rattler, we've got you dead to right. The Rattler? What are you talking about? Oh, don't look so innocent. I suppose you didn't take the masks of Mr. Bladen and Ken Williams out of my office. I did not. Oh, you can't tell us that. We chased you and I shot you in the arm. This is no bullet wound. I cut it on a piece of machinery. We'll soon find out if you're telling the truth. Look at his arm, Miss Corwin. <laughs> Get in the way! Stop him! It's Matthew! Didn't you see him? Oh, no, but he can't be very far. Well, at least 
we know beyond a doubt who the rattler is. That was a smart trick of Matthews, holding a job with the railroad so no one would suspect him. Why is he trying to prevent the railroad from completing the tunnel? Declare is secretly working a gold mine under Iron Mountain, and the railroad tunnel would expose it. A gold mine in this locality? But well, what's the matter? Look, those bushes, they're moving. Come out of there, or I'll shoot. It's Matthews. Hmm. Tying yourself up to prove an alibi is an old trick, Matthews. But it won't work this time. The Rattler tied me. Uh, do you expect us to believe that? There's an easy way to prove it. The Rattler was shot through the left arm. All right. I'll show you. Uh, he's not wounded. There must be some mistake about this, Miss Corwin. There must have been the Rattler wearing a mask of me. I've got to tell Ken Williams about this. Give me Dr. Edwards Hospital in Boulder Creek, please. I suppose that's the Times calling their star reporter, Breezy Baker, for more news of the Rattler. Maybe you should tell me I'm fired. Answer it, will you, Ken? Hey, Doc, why don't you answer your phone? Say, so he ought to be back by now. Maybe I better answer it. Hello? Hello, Dr. Edwards. I have an important message for Ken Williams. Oh, it's you, Ken. Yes, Jane. Where are you? What? So Matthews isn't the writer after all. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Thanks very much, Jane. How soon are you coming back to town? All right. Drop in as soon as you get here. Goodbye. If Matthews isn't the Rattler, who is? Lake? Oh, uh, can't be Lake. Jane found a mask of him after one of her men shot the Rattler through the arm. I give up. You know, Breezy, I'm still suspicious of Dr. Edwards. Have been ever since we found them darts in his medicine bag. Don't be silly, Ken. If he was a Rattler, he'd have slipped poison in our medicine before now, wouldn't he? Then powders Doc left for us to take just before he went out. Gee. We'll fool him, though. We'll make him think we've taken him and then have him analyzed. If it is poison, we'll know he's the Rattler. Ken, I'm sick. I'm dying. I took one of those powders. Breezy, you're not fooling. You really feel bad? Oh, terrible. When did you take it? Oh, just a couple of minutes ago. There's still time to save you, then. Here, Breezy. Take this. What is it? It's castor oil. Oh. oh, wait a minute, Ken. I think I feel better. Well, you better take it anyhow and play safe. Come oh, on. Oh, no, Ken. I feel oh. great. Honest, I do. Maybe it wasn't poison after all. <laughs> well, all right. If you die, I'll know Doc Edwards is a rattler. Here comes Dr. Edwards now. Just as I thought. What? Dr. Edwards is a rattler. Looks like he's been shot in the arm.
Is that a bullet wound by any chance, Dr. Edwards? Williams, you two boys shouldn't be walking around like this. I told you, you should have absolute rest. You haven't answered my question. Well, if it interests you, that's just what it is. I've been shot. And in the left arm, I see. Just what are you driving at? Miss Carvin telephoned me just a few minutes ago. Said one of her men shot the rat in the left arm. Quite a coincidence, isn't it? Are you trying to hint that I'm the rattler? I never hinted anything, Doctor. Unless you can explain how you got that wound, I'm taking you to the sheriff. Very well, then, I'll explain. Two men came to me and begged me to visit a man who they said was very sick. I had many such calls and thought nothing of it until I got to their place. Yes, yes, go on. I was lucky to get away with my life. This is the place, Doc. This way, Doc. I thought you said this man was sick. He's been shot. Sure. That's what made him sick. He's lost plenty of blood already, Doc. Get busy. Bring some water. Pull up that chair. Don't touch that man. But he's in bad shape. I just want to examine his eyes. Never mind the eyes. Take care of that arm. Keep him very quiet. And give him one of these every two hours. Don't let him leave. But you'll be all right. I'll come back tomorrow and put a fresh bandage on your wound. Yeah, and bring a posse with you, eh? You'll stay here till I'm on my feet again. But I have other patients I must attend to. Put him in the cave room. See that he doesn't escape. I was lucky to get away with my life. The only thing that saved me was the fact that the Rattler was too weak to shoot straight. Too bad you didn't get a look at his face. Say, now's our chance to go out there and capture him. You're right, Breezy. Let's get our things on. Boy, old front page story for my paper. You're not going. What? Said you're not going. I want you to stay here and keep an eye on the doctor. Oh, then you still think he's a rattler? I think he's lying. I want you to go out town with me and then double back. Watch him while I check up on his story.
Stop where you are. Doctor, have you gone crazy? Oh, I'm very sorry, Bladen. I thought you were the rattler. I'm a little upset. Well, you must be to have lost your medical bag out there on the road. Thank you, Bladen. I must have dropped it off my saddle. Where's Cannon Breezy? Why, they rode out to the construction camp to see you. Strange, I didn't meet them. I just came from there. I've got to drop over and see Miss Corwin. If you see the Rattler, give him my regards with a bullet. What are you doing here? The doctor told me you'd gone to the construction camp. The doctor told you that? Then Ken was right. He is the Rattler. Now I begin to understand. Where's Ken? He's gone to the Rattler's shack to check up on another lie the doctor told us. Why, he's headed into a trap. I'll get some of my men and go after him. All right, I'll stay here and watch the Rattler. Is that so? <laughs> we'll be ready for him. Rattler just told me that Ken Williams is headed for the shack hideout. William showed up at the shack hideout yet? Not yet, but I'll hear him when he does. The men are laying for him. Good. Then I'm in time for the show. To you now, old boy. Don't move, Williams. Stand up and keep your hands away from that gun. I've waited a long time for this moment, Williams. My men planned a different finish for you, but you are too smart for them. But you're not too smart for me.
He's after Ken Williams. Where's Ken? He's going to the old shack near Iron Mountain. He's riding right into a trap. we got to save him. Well, get your horse. I'll get my men started. Quick. Boys, get your horses and guns quick. We're going after the rattler. All right, boys. It's up to you now, old boy. Don't move, Williams. Stand up and keep your hands away from that gun. I've waited a long time for this moment, Williams. My men planned a different finish for you, but you are too smart for them. But you're not too smart for me. That for shooting, be. partner. You see me drop that bird? Good word, Breezy. <laughs> Boy, what a picture from my paper. Rattler's lieutenant shot down by Times reporter. <laughs> Thanks for bringing him in, James. You got here just in time. What about the rattler? Tarzan chased him out through these bones while I go somewhere here. Yeah? I don't know where he did go. Hey, Breezy! Come on, you gotta help me catch a rattler. Tarzan probably got him trapped by now. Uh, take my horse, Ken. I want to get a picture from the top of the cliff. All right. Save some film. I'll be back with a rattler in the jiffy. Boy, oh boy, what a front page scoop. The Rattler's Last Stand. Exclusive eyewitness story by Breezy Baker. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he go, Tarzan? Look! Look, he's bleeding! Oh, oh boy, hope. Oh. Beat you up, did he? How come you didn't kill him? Look! His rope is caught in the rock. Oh, that's what happened, huh? 
Dr. Edwards has got something coming from both of us, old man. Dr. Edwards? Yes, I got to look at the rattler's face, Jane. It was Dr. Edwards. fool of a reporter brought Miss Corwin's men and Williams got out of our trap. There's one thing in our favor though. Williams believes I'm Dr. Edwards. He doesn't know I'm only wearing a mask of him. That puts you in the clear, boss. Williams will arrest Edwards the Rattler. If he lives. Have you a scheme, boss? When Williams goes to arrest Edwards, he'll walk right into our trap. When you finish with those torches, come into my room. What's all the shooting, Steve? I caught that reporter snooping. He's behind that ledge. He took this tunnel, boss. Follow him. I'll head him off if he takes the cross tunnel. Get out. Come on back and stand guard at the forks. Did you hear me, Steve? Ken! Jane! Breezy, where'd you disappear to? How in the world did you get here? Have I got news? I followed the rattler into the mine, and there's a passageway that leads right into the railroad tunnel. Ah, that explains how the rattler's been able to disappear so quickly after each attack on the construction camp here. Blade ought to know about this. We'll go in. Come on. Hello, Matthews. Where's Bladen? I wish I knew. I just received a message from the president of the railroad. He wants Bladen to continue the tunnel construction regardless of the Rattler's attack. Well, that's good news. Any more developments regarding the Rattler? Glad you got here, Bladen. I come here to tell you that I'm firmly convinced that Dr. Edwards is a Rattler. Well, that's a very serious charge, Williams. 
I saw his face. There can't be any mistake. Well, maybe the Rattler was wearing a mask of the doctor. See, that's right. We found a mask of everybody in the Rattler's hideout. I don't think so. But I have a plan that will definitely tell us whether or not he's guilty. It's sort of an unveiling the statue affair. Well, how is that going to help? We'll tell everybody we're going to unmask the Rattler at 3 o'clock in the Corwin Yard. You don't think the Rattler's going to be dumb enough to come to your party, do you? That's just it. If Dr. Evers don't show up, we'll know he's the Rattler. Hey, boss. You know, if you go to that meeting, you're putting your head right in the noose. If I don't go, Williams will know that I'm the Rattler. I've got to go. I'm playing for the biggest stake a man ever played for. This is the richest mine in the world. If I'm not back by four o'clock, you'll know I've lost. Set off the dynamite at all the entrances. Bring the mountain crashing down on the mine. If I can't have it, nobody shall. All right, Bob. Well, I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Ah, oh, boys. Oh, All right. Who do you think the Rattler really is, Lee? Of course should I know. <laughs> That's a hard one to figure out. You know, this is a very good idea of Williams. Yeah. Well, I bet he don't find out who the Rattler is. He's coming across the street now. I'll snap his picture as he comes through the door. You know, headlines, the Rattler's face, front page stuff. Dr. Edwards is coming. Thanks, Jane. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. See uh, here. No, 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 don't feel flattered. I took pictures of the others, too. All right, gentlemen. As long as Tars is going to be the main speaker of the day, I wish you'd gather in here, please. Come in here, boys. In a sort of a half circle facing Tarzan, please. A little bit of light, aren't you, Doctor? I'm sorry. It couldn't be helped. Hold it! Thank you. What's the meaning of this silly business, Williams? I'm going to prove that a horse has more sense than most people. Tarzan's going to pick the Rattler. Don't get me wrong, boys. I know most of you here are above suspicion. I called you here merely as witnesses. Funny thing about a horse, he knows his friends and he knows his enemies. Not through sight, as most people may suppose, but through that delicate sense that all animals have. The Rattler hit Tarzan in the head this morning, beat him up pretty bad. Now I believe you'll sense that man when he comes in contact with him. Tarzan? Walk down that line of men slowly. Go ahead. Go on. Go ahead, boy. Go on. What's the matter, Tarzan? Can't you find him? Look! Bladen! What's he running away from? I go to the left! Jump!
out, boss. Don't do it now. Stop. the explosion. The rattler was too smart for you, Williams. You and nobody else will ever get his gold money. Where's the rattler? He went to the death that he planned for himself. 